at your child's immunization schedule can be confusing to parents, and some may question whether they're even necessary, especially when controversies arise about vaccines and autism. It made mom Rebecca Jones think twice. I did when that information originally came out, but I tend to be the kind of person that wants to double check, and I learned quickly that that had been discredited. The study that made the claim was falsified, but parents may still have fears about the safety of immunizations. Dr. Nancy Witham suggests you sit down with your pediatrician. We as physicians also are concerned about possible reactions to vaccines, possible side effects from vaccines, possible um, links to other things such as autism. Vaccines are well tested before being put into public use. There's also meticulous testing in vaccines that are taken as a group to ensure they're safe taken in combination. That piece of information should make it a little bit more comfortable to, to go through with the schedule the, as it's been written out versus feeling like, oh gosh, I need to space them to be kinder to my child. What is more serious, she tells parents, is to skip the shots and risk getting the illness. I think it's important because the diseases are so dramatically disastrous for the children if they get the, the bad, worst case scenario. After millions of parents chose to forego or delay the MMR vaccine, it showed up as an increase in related illnesses. Many of them are making resurgence. We have cases of measles that have been nationally notified about. So the best medicine is to understand the information and to make an educated decision. I really believe in trusting um, your doctor and I do believe in immunizing so I didn't have any trouble with following that information. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.